My name is Jim Tucci, National Sales Manager for Flomatic Valves. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about our family of pilot-operated control valves. Our valves are designed to AWA standard C530, uh, which relates to certain lay lengths and operating parameters. So our basics for our control valves, you've got a strong ductile iron body uh, with a NSF61 fusion bonded epoxy coating on the inside and the exterior of the valve. Our main valve bodies are certified to NSF61 standard themselves. Uh, some nice little offerings that we have on our control valves as standard components are uh, control tubing isolation valves, as can be seen here. On six inch and larger valves, we offer position indicator rod, uh, which will, for ease of maintenance and seeing your valve opening and closing. All of our valves will have an air bleeder assembly on the top cover of your valve, regardless if there's an indicator rod or not. On the back side of our valves, uh, we offer some test cocks standard for installation of uh, various components, pressure gauges, pressure transducers, sampling points, etc. On the bottom of our valves, may be difficult to see here in the photo or in the video, but we do have a drain plug a body drain plug, so for locations, uh, ag and irrigation applications where we have concerns for freezing in the winter, uh, makes it a lot easier to drain the valve. All of our hardware, cover hardware and internal hardware, if, if uh, it happens to be there on the six inch and larger valves, is stainless steel, 316 stainless steel standard. Another nice thing about our components are, are uh, cover bolts, and in our seat assemblies in the six inch and larger valves is we offer jack screws in our cover. Uh, that makes it easier for disassembling older valves that have been in the field for a while when they need to be serviced. You can remove this hardware, thread, this, thread these bolts into the jack screws and it acts as a puller for your cover. The same holds true in the seats of the valves on the inside, the six inch and larger, those seats are held in with screws and those same screws can be used for jack screws on the seats. Our valves have a very good flow efficiency, uh, high CV factor, low K factor. So that's going to help with your uh, uh, electricity costs when pumping. Um, offered in a wide array of uh, configurations, full port, reduced ported valves, angle body valves. Our Threaded versions are available from inch and a quarter up to three inch, that's female MPT ends. And our flanged ends we offer from inch and a quarter up to 36 inch, um, both in ANSI class 150 and ANSI class 300 flanges. Um, all of our valves, you can now see them here with these cutaways, but they do have a, they will have a serial tag associated with them. That will give you your model number and the serial number of the valve. Uh, it's great for future service whenever you may need com uh, component parts. You can just call the factory with those serial numbers. We can pull the data sheet on the valve as it was built and uh, supply replacement parts as needed. All of our valves are tested and set to factor or to customer supplied specifications. So if you know the operating conditions of your system, not only will, will we test these valves at AWA standard, but we will also test them and set them to the customer supplied information. We offer a three year warranty on these valves uh, and the vast majority of our control valve offering will also meet the American Iron and Steel standard um, as specified with the State Revolving Fund Act. So where might your pilot operated control valves be utilized? Um, a multitude of applications, but your basics would be Pressure reducing applications, where you have a high inlet pressure, you want to sto lower, steady, decreased outlet pressure. Um, altitude valves, where we are filling elevated storage tanks or ground storage tanks. Back pressure sustaining or pressure relief valves, where we're going to protect the system from a high pressure or we want to protect a system from overdraft. Um, another type of safety valve would be a surge arrestor valve, such as here. Um, this is gonna protect long pipelines from pressure surges, as well as uh, float valves for tank filling or simple on-off valves with a solenoid control. Pump control valves, uh, that's where you would see valves like this, your diaphragm 
operated or pilot operated diaphragm control valves. Thank you for your time.